You might be in a situation where Android Auto is just not working. Now, I'm going to show you how to try to adjust it or fix it on your specific Android phone, but keep in mind that if it is a problem with your receiver in your car, or if it's a problem with the wire, those are pretty much going to be the main issues that you may be having here. So the first thing to keep in mind is that with Android Auto, you are going to either you're having a wireless connection or a wired connection to your receiver in your car. So if you have a wired connection, very similar to my you know, experience, like if I, I have a wired connection to my car, I plug it in and sometimes there can be times where it's not registered or it's not showing on my screen. It's always because I didn't plug in that wire properly to my car in one way or another. So maybe it's not fully plugged in onto the bottom here or it's not fully plugged into the other side of the receiver. So if you're able to go ahead and find the receiver and find the USB port, go ahead and unplug it, plug it back in, and I might end up fixing it there. Now, if you can verify that it's not a receiver problem and it's not a problem with the wire, you want to make your way over to your Android settings right here, and you want to go ahead and search up Android Auto. So typically, if you just type in Auto, it should just come up automatically, no pun intended. So you can look and you should be able to see Android Auto if you don't see it. So just go and type in Android Auto. Just don't even type in Auto. It just takes way too much time to find it. So go and click here, and you will see that Android Auto is under Connected Devices. So click on Android Auto, and you should be able to come into this specific panel. So now, as long as you see this panel, you should be able to see that Android Auto is supported on your specific phone. But you'll also want to make sure that your car receiver is supported on Android Auto as well. So it'll go and show you previously connected cars if you have any. You can always make sure this little tab at the bottom, the Add New Cars to Android Auto, is enabled. So when you plug in your phone the very first time to your car, it'll go ahead and actually register it. If this is off, it might not register your car. You can also manually connect the car if you want to via wireless or wired. And you can go ahead and you know go through this process as well as connect using wireless Android Auto. You have the ability here as well if you want to set it up here or connect using Bluetooth. That's another option you have as well. Now here's where you can customize it further. I wouldn't even mess with these because this is not probably going to fix any of your issues. You want to make sure that you're able to connect your car to Android Auto and these panels will go and help you there. Now if that's still not working, you can try restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons to normally restart your phone. And you can also try going through and actually updating your Android phone. This is one of those things that might end up fixing it for you. So go ahead and find your software update panel here. You want to click download and install. And all you want to do is go ahead and download and install the latest update available for your phone. So you can see I do have an update available. I'm going to install it and we're going to go ahead and see if it fixes it. So those are pretty much the main things you can do to go and fix Android Auto not working on your specific device. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Holden.